All right, this is our next episode of True Wrestling Fan Discussions, continuing our Saturday night's main event review series. It's going to be Saturday night's main event 36, the last one. Thank God. I'm your host, Mike. I'm Frank. Uh, let, let, let's just let's just hurry up and get through this one. Because the, um, it, it was, despite the fact that it's the last one, it's also an extremely short one. The shortest one. At this point, they're like, let's just get this over with and finish this. Yeah, because without the commercials, if you look at it, it's only 42 minutes. So this literally minutes, yeah. was an hour long. It uh, originally on July 28, 2008, they aired it on August 2nd, 2008. Not, um, I think this was two weeks before SummerSlam, not, you know, the weekend of like they've done before in Washington, D.C., 14,722 on, on hand for this one. J- Jim Russ, Jerry Lawler and uh, CM Punk for the first match, the World Heavyweight Champion had done yeah. the commentary. Uh, our opening match was John Cena, Batista, who will face each other at uh, SummerSlam of that year, at, teaming with Crime Time, versus JBL, Kane, and Legacy, Cody Rhodes, and Ted DiBiase. No, not the American Nightmare. No, not just, the, just, just the uh, idiotic buffoon that is Legacy, unfortunately. But, um, you know, this match wasn't – it was a pretty good opening match. Uh, had a lot of talent in it. Uh Definitely. It, it, was, it was fun to see uh, Cody Rhodes in the ring back then as compared to now. Mm-hmm. Um, Kane seems to you know be in every Saturday night main event. Um, what's funny about that opening match is they flip-flop the entrances. You know, they'd have a heel come out, then a baby face, then a heel come out, then a baby face. So I didn't know uh, if it was done by accident in the beginning, and then they just said, okay, just run with it, or that's really how they wanted to do it. Probably intentional. Mm-hmm. They probably um, CM Punk was down there actually searching for his uh, next opponent because he he at this moment does not have a uh, challenger mm-hmm. for SummerSlam. The WWE title does. Triple H will be facing Great Khali. Um, you know, again, the match wasn't bad. Uh, at one point, D- JTG went for the cover on Ted DiBiase because the referee's trying to tell him, hey, buddy, you got the wrong guy. Turns around and gets a clothesline from hell from JBL, and that's how that match ends. Uh, it was really fast paced, and they did one of those typical things they do in an eight man tag uh, that they did back then, and even now, where everybody kind of does their finisher and, and and gets out of the ring, flip flopping that. So it wasn't bad. That was all right. Uh, Batista and Cena actually got along for this. Like I said, they'll be facing each other at SummerSlam, which mm-hmm. it was to put it was put together kind of odd. But this was back then when they had all those uh, guest GMs for the, the oh, celebrities, yeah, okay, yeah. and I believe one of them had put this match together. Hey, at least it was better than the anonymous. <laughs> and I quote, "Oh my God, that was that was bad." Yeah. So, following um, this uh, for the next match, they actually like they needed to do this as the great Kali headed to the ring. They did a video package for him, like they needed to promote this guy anymore. Again, they so, were really push. They were really pushing him hard, Ben. At this like, point, yeah, um, we know he's big. All right, he's big. We know. And, 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 the, and the match with Triple H at SummerSlam was actually pretty good. Yeah, I don't remember know. it. I don't remember that match. I might, <laughs> not, I might, not, I might not even have seen it. I don't know even if I have even saw it. I don't even know. That, yeah, the, that year, Triple H's WWE champion has some, has some uh, good matches against him, Vladimir Kozlov. Um, remember, that was the year that he, he dropped the title. Um, I think it was the was – no, it was the year before to Jeff Hardy. Yeah, I so, like how Jim Ross. I like how Jim Ross. I don't know if it's during this match, but at some point he says that the the belt that Triple H has is the most coveted title in the industry, basically shitting on the belt that CM Punk has. Well, they they always yeah. did that ever since they brought it in. It was always uh, the second rated title because if you look at the guys that held that title, those some of those guys. Never held the WWE title, or never would get a shot at it. Right, wouldn't even get a shot at it. So it was like the minor league title. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it personally. I always thought that it was equal to the WWE. It should, it should have been, yeah. Because if been. it wasn't, why do you have it? Why do you have it exactly? And it's interesting in that it wasn't seen that way when Triple H had that title. Well, exactly. I was just gonna say that uh, about when Triple H had it. You notice or that? Shawn Michaels. Yeah. Uh, when those guys had it, when Goldberg had it. When, when the major guys had it, they never said anything about it. But when a guy like then, Christian or Mark Henry or CM Mark, Punk held Mark it, at this point, yeah, it, it was a step below the WWE yeah. Championship. Uh, anyway, well, again, you give the title to Christian, would you give him the WWE title? Exactly. 
I like Christian though, but I see. I, I did see too. Where that. I see where you're going. Yeah. But they're willing to put the the second rate title on him, but not the major one. Yeah. Okay. Where if you, in my opinion, if you're gonna put one on them, then they can call. Then that qualifies them to go for the other one. Yeah, absolutely. So, this next match was a joke. I don't even know why they signed it. I think Vince was just a raw match for 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 for, for laughs. This is a no, raw this, SmackDown this, match. This, this is a velocity match. Forget that. This is a house Sunday show. Night. If anything, Sunday Night Heat. Yeah. Shotgun Saturday Night. Oh Jesus. <laughs> this this is Grand Central Station worthy. Damn, good thing those aren't those aren't on the network. We might, we might have reviewed a few of them. I would I would have loved to. Especially, at least the first at least the first few. Especially the, first the Hunter Hearst Helmsley Tombstone on the yeah. subway. On, I think that on was the, the first one. I think yeah. that was the first episode. Of, yeah. I'll never forget that one. I classic. used to stay up. I don't know if you remember this. The, my memory might be serving me wrong, but I I seem to remember that Shotgun Saturday Night was on late in New York. I think it was on Channel Thirty One. I think, and it was on midnights. Eventually, I think it goes to Channel Eleven. I think I know it moves. Yeah, it, it was at midnight. I do remember that. Well, when it first started, I remember that it was. I'm almost positive it was Channel Thirty One, which nobody watched. No. Um, uh, I think it became Plus Plus New York or something like that. I forgot. Anyway, I remember watching it late at night. I remember that. Yeah, I'll never forget that first one. The, the Undertaker pins him on the escalator. It's classic. Yeah. yeah. But um, this match was literally a joke. Uh, Great Kali versus Jimmy Wang Yang. What are we doing here? I mean, come on. Two-handed stroke, choke slam, and a pin. Before that, Yang went off the top rope and got chopped in midair. Uh, I felt bad for this guy. This was a squash match. So you uh, ni- 90 seconds, literally. Thank God. Oh, man. So, anyway, following... Uh, that before they had the last match, because there was only three matches on this night, they showed the video package of Edge and Vicky Guerrero. Yeah. You know, he, he cheated with the therapist who turns out to be Alicia Fox. And, oh, my God. And she she forgives him, but she's like, love, have no fury like a woman scorned. So yeah. he tells him that at SummerSlam, you're, I've reinstated The Undertaker, and you're going to face him in a Hell in a Cell match. Mm-hmm. That just reminds me of Teddy Long. Anytime you pissed off Teddy Long, that's it. Tonight, player, you're going one on one with the Undertaker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, the Edge Taker feud up uh, for that year was pretty good. You know, yeah, they, I mean, they worked just, they worked well together. Taker actually yeah, yeah. had had commented in in various interviews that he enjoyed working with Edge through this. I so, just like I mean, the Vicky stuff. The Vicky stuff, I never. Oh, I couldn't for. stand that. I couldn't stand her. Period. I mean, she was funny when she started with the excuse me stuff. That was funny. After a while, it got annoying. But but initially. But this whole thing with Edge and with her having... I don't, I don't know, man. I just... I didn't care. The whole marriage. Yeah, and... I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like it. No. Like if you're going to be the commissioner of SmackDown or general manager, that's right. fine. But this... Yeah, I didn't know. So, our... And they also showed well, what happened on SmackDown prior to Saturday main event with, you know, Edge taking out Mick Foley. Foley's trying to give him the advice of... Uh, being in a hell in a cell with the Undertaker, if anybody knows, he does. And of course, Edge takes him out. You know, got got to take out Foley any chance you, you know, anytime you see him. So this was Edge versus Jeff Hardy, one on one match, mm-hmm. and it, it it was a good match until out of nowhere, MVP comes MVP, out from the yeah. crowd, boots Jeff Hardy. You know, Edge gets the spear and the pin on on Jeff, and Edge you know gets the victory. You know, I, I would have liked this to have gone over clean, even if Jeff does lose to Edge, so be it. But yeah. this is this was the now the Jeff Hardy versus uh MVP feud instead of Matt, it's Jeff now. So and that pretty much closes out Saturday night main event. That would be the final match yeah. ever, other than that the 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 ridiculous house shows that they label it now Saturday night main event, which is ridiculous. You know, if you're gonna do it, do it. But I don't think ever again we'll we'll see this. No, and it's, no, a, it's guess, a shame because this was our childhood. Not well, this not, one. Well, not 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 any of these. Not uh, not the last after, five. Yeah, <laughs> at the two thousand and six. The first thirty one. Yeah. But the first thirty one. Yeah, you know it's, it was it's, it was it was fun reviewing them. I hope you guys enjoyed them. Um, to me, this was I've said this before. This was not Saturday Night's main event. All the stuff in 2006 and beyond, that was not. No, this was like those those ridiculous like main event or Velocity or yeah. Sunday Night Heat, like stuff but they would tried. Do on there. Hey, they did. They tried. Yeah. So, well, you guys like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. Take care.